Hello everyone, once again, doing a, a record review. I have my trusty scalpel. I stopped off once again at Piranha Records in Round Rock. Great store. Uh, so let's have a look, see what I got. So first up, Machine Head. It's a 45. Uh, side 1, Killers and Kings, the demo. Side 2, Our Darkest Days, Bleeding. And... Let's have a look at the, the record. Oh, nice. It's got the logo right in the middle. Oh. Oh. Woohoo! <laughs> look at that. That is a beauty. That is a. I love translucent vinyls. Uh, so. Oops. So there's that gem added to the collection. Next up, so this is a remaster. Um, it includes the album and then a bonus LP with rare and unreleased demos and live tracks. Sepultura, uh, Sepultura Roots, which is a stunning album from the mid-90s. And Let's open this bad boy up. And have a look at the records. Doesn't say if they're coloured. Probably basic, yep. Basic black. So that's the first disc. Well, first LP. And then let's have a look at the next one. Very basic. Basic black with the logo in the middle. And it just says one, two, three, four for the sides. As is customary on the back, track listing telling you what is on each side. And then this is a big gatefold with the artwork. Very nice. Very nice addition, excellent record. I mean, it's an outstanding album. Now, absolute classic. Not just classic by Metallica, but considered quite possibly one of the greatest heavy metal well, uh, records or albums ever. And also the, the last one to feature Cliff Burton, who sadly passed away during the tour of this album. So let's have a look. Yep, basic black. Uh, very nice. That even though it's a reissue, it, I mean it's not got lyric sheet. It doesn't have. Oh, it does have. Oh, my bad. Didn't see that. So it's got a lyric sheet and liner notes, but it's not like a fold-out cover. Um, oh, yeah, where I was going. I like that they included the original Metallica logo on the record instead of the newer Metallica style. Also, another Metallica's debut album, Kill 'em All. Basically, Metallica's first five albums are kind of like. Black Sabbath's first five or six, like the, the initial Aussie albums, um, the first five Metallica albums, back to back, just classic. Liner notes, well, yep, liner notes and lyric sheet on the back, and then promotional pictures on the front. What is this? A card, oh! A digital copy redeemable code. I'll have to check if Master of Puppets has one of them. Basic black with the classic logo. That is awesome that there's a digital code. So please forgive me as I digress. 
and <coughs> double check in here. Any digital code? No. So no digital code. Oh, it just fell out. Haha, <laughs> there is a digital code for Master of Puppets. So that's awesome. And that, that will tell you that this is not an original copy, the fact that there's a digital code in there. Which doesn't bother me in the slightest. And then, last but by no means least, another absolute classic album, Slayer's Rain and Blood, which, along with Master of Puppets, is considered one of the greatest heavy metal albums ever made and what vinyl collection would be complete without this in it let's have a look at this right so this is not a gatefold let's try my luck like the others it's just a basic reprint of the original artwork lyric sheet. There is no digital code with this one. And then Rain and Blood. Yep, same on the back. So I am very happy with my purchases today. I'm very happy that you guys are watching along. It means the world to me when people enjoy these videos and one very quick bonus thing I'll be right back Piranha Records in Round Rock when you make purchases you will get a little wooden coin okay that are valued at one wooden buck, one buck. So if you take these in, these are actually as good as real money. So I've got a stack of them here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I've got $19 worth of wooden bucks here, which means I could probably get, on my next purchase, I could probably get another four or five or six, which means in the future I will have enough for another album, which won't cost me any money financially out of my pocket. It's kind of like a reward system for customers becoming regular customers, and i that's the second time in as many days I've been to Piranha Records. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, explore the content on this channel and I will see you next time.